What's going on guys? Welcome back to another discord.js tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be creating an image scraper bot. You're going to be able to send some keywords to the bot. The bot is going to take those keywords into Google images and find the best result and return that image into a text channel. So I did a lot of research and I found out that this package right here called images scraper is probably the best one that we can use. So I'm going to leave the link to images scraper down below if you guys want to read over the project. But basically here an example, this is all the code we're going to need to create the bot. It's going to be a very short video. It's going to be roughly around eight or nine lines of code and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and get started. Open up your project. And if you're new here and not sure how everything works, make sure to watch the last video where we create a new command handler and event handler. That way we also restructured our whole entire project. So make sure to watch that video, open up your terminal. We want to install images scraper. So do NPM install images dash scraper. And that way we have it in our project to create a new command with our new command handler. All we have to do is in our commands folder, create a new file and name it the name of the command. So it's going to be image .js for us. Now we're going to do the typical module that exports. So module that exports. We're going to create the name, which is the exact same name as the file, which is image. A description, if you want to description and you can write whatever you want for this tutorial, we're just going to create a random description. So this sends an image to a discord channel or text channel. It doesn't matter what the description is. So you guys can customize this as much as you want. Following this, we're going to create the execute method. So execute, we're going to pass in client, we're going to pass in message, and we're going to pass in args. We also have to make sure that that execute method here is asynchronous, so async. Now we're going to import everything that we need. So if we actually open up our project, you can kind of copy everything. So we got var scraper equals require image scraper. Go ahead and copy that into our project. And that's how we're requiring image scraper into this file. And the next thing we're going to do is actually create a const called Google. If we actually go back into our project here, here, we're going to create a new scraper. We're going to add a puppeteer and we're going to actually have headless to true instead of false. So let's do that. So const Google is equal to new scraper. And here we want to do puppeteer and this is going to be true. Sorry. No. We have to open this up one more time and do headless true. And just like that, we can now start searching images on Google all the way down here. We want to create a new variable called image query, and we can actually just use args up here, but we're going to create a new variable here. So image query equals args dot join. And we're going to open this up and do a space just like that. That way we're actually joining all of the arguments down here. And we're, you know, basically joining them by the spaces, just in case they have multiple spaces, this is going to combine everything and we can use that in our search query. Next thing we're going to do is if that image query does not exist, you can also do if the first argument does not exist, but we already have an image query, so we can just use that. So if the image query does not exist, we're just going to return message, you know, channel that send, we're going to send, please enter an image name. Again, you can customize all of these messages to your users as much as you want. Following this, we're going to do const image underscore results. This is the results that we're getting from the scraper up here. So image results is going to be equal to await Google that scrape. We're going to scrape that image query that we were able to get from our users. I'm going to do one just like that. The last thing we actually have to do is send that image that we just got the results. So it message to channel that send. I'm going to do images, sorry, image underscore result. And we're going to do is open this up and get the first one because the results is actually going to be a object. And actually we can actually check this in this project, the results, it's going to send this right here, which is going to be two results, the URL and the source. We want to get the URL because if you guys didn't know, if you send an image URL to discord, discord is going to automatically convert that URL into the image of the URL. So we want to get this from the results. So in here, we're just going to do dot URL. If we go ahead and save everything, go into our discord server, make sure we're actually in our discord server right here. 
and we can do the command which is image and let's send something like computer wait a while i think did everything work correctly oh i'm <laughs> so stupid run the bot first then test the bot no oh, space not now let's actually test the command computer image computer and we should get a result pretty soon yes we should boom so it searches all over google it finds the best results and it sends that image okay we can do anything we want apple um and then the next one we can do something like let's think of something video games oh it actually sent the company apple not an apple that's crazy video games there you go so now it works you can type whatever you want it's going to search that query that keywords into google images find the best results send that results into the text channel that the user sent the command in so just like that it's very easy i did this tutorial like a year ago it was way more complicated but i was able to find the image scraper images scraper project here which made everything super easy just like this like eight lines of code let's actually check how many lines it was well it was 19 but yeah it doesn't count it doesn't count it's it's short so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys later on my next video peace